X marks the spot, baby. baby. What is up, my dudes? Welcome back to my channel. So today, against my better judgment, I have decided to take a leap back in time and go back onto the hellhole that is my Deviant Art account, which is no longer active. I found my old journal entries that I did approximately from the time I was like 13, 14, 15 years old, and boy are they cringy, and I am ready to share them with the world with you today. I will give you a heads up, if you haven't watched my reacting to my old Deviant Art artworks, go watch that first, that is in the top right corner, that will give you some context for what you are about to see. Long story short, it's bad. Like, it's, it's pretty damn cringy. So if you're into cringe, you've come to the right place. If you're not, uh, click off, go find something on my channel that's not so cringy. I'm ready to embarrass myself publicly yet again on this channel and let's do it. Let's just get right into it, okay? So these are in order from when they were written. So they're from oldest to newest. The newest one I believe was written in 2010. It is currently 2019. So this was written like almost a decade ago and they all have super quirky titles because I'm so quirky. Oh, quirky. Spoiler alert, if you couldn't tell, I was a scene kid, like bad. Had the emo fringe, like the wristband, skinny jeans, everything, the works. I like to think I've evolved myself from scene kid to adult sad girl at this point. I mean, obviously you can tell, but you know, I'll let you be the judge of that. Let's just get right into this. I believe the first one is from 2009. This post is titled, my life is average. You guys remember that site? It came along with F My Life, I believe, which was another website that was sort of like submission based. And it basically was just a bunch of people submitting F stories in their lives. But this is My Life is Average, which is just boring stories of every day. So anyway, I'm so out of it today. You can probably tell since I'm listening to T-Pain. <laughs> Now, for anyone who was on DeviantArt back in the day, they don't do this anymore from what I understand, but you could put what you were doing along with your journal posts. So you could put whatever song you were listening to, whatever you were eating, whatever you were drinking, but they've since gotten rid of it. So this is sort of irrelevant now. Reason for this, last night was opening night for my show. It went pretty well, minus the fact that one of the stage curtains fell over. LOL, raffle now. Later, we all went to Fridays to celebrate a job well done. For any of you who don't know, I was a theater kid still am. My hippie of a third cousin, Brian, faked his own birthday, so he got free dessert. Kudos, Brian. Brian wasn't actually my third cousin. He was a cousin of a cousin of a cousin, so we went to the same school, and I just called him my third cousin because that was easier. If he's watching, What's up, Brian? It's been a while. Let's chat. The whole time we talked about nothing but drugs, sex, and booze. How lovely. Ooh, the scandal. Oh, well. We made up for our raunchy conversation and brownie obsessions. Those things are sins in a bowl, but they're just so damn good. It's true. They are really good. If you're going to go to a Friday's, make sure you get that. It's really good. <laughs> this morning, I was woken up by my phone ringing. It was my dad asking if I was up yet, but I told him I still wanted to sleep. I got out of bed anyway. My life is average. Was was this necessary to tell the world at the time? Probably not. But the only people who were following me on DeviantArt during this time were my friends. So, you know, it's good to give them an update. I could have just easily used Facebook, but you know, DeviantArt works too. It just gets worse from here, guys. I'm not looking forward to the next few. This one's called, It's Been A While since, uh, no, it's just called It's Been A While. My life has improved from its average state since my last entry. Thank God, because you are not as interesting as you think, Sage. Now I've developed the fetish for Sonic Riders, question mark? Wait, wait, wait. I genuinely do not remember this period of my life. Wait, what? Sonic Riders. I never even played Sonic Riders. Why was I, why did I have a fetish? Uh, did I even know what a fetish was at this point? Probably not. Anyway, for which if you don't know, is a show about animated crime fighting hedgehogs. Yes, Sage, nobody knows what Sonic the Hedgehog is. Thank you for letting us know. You're the all knowing Sage of the universe. Well, I am sort of tired, but I only kept my mood that way because the damn mood changer doesn't work. Faulty computer modules. Blech. I literally have zero idea what I'm talking about here. <laughs> I literally woke up an hour ago. Zyrtec can make one quite consumed in slumber. <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> I leave for Camp Cayuga on Sunday, and the wait is too much for me to bear any longer. I've waited an entire 10 months just to go back, and strangely, it doesn't seem that long ago. Camp Cayuga is like my second home. That's beautiful, that's beautiful. You're gonna make me cry, Sage. You meet so many awesome people, some who wear scarves for tops and others who dance on tables to My Chemical Romance. <laughs> Completely awesome. It's good to be with people of my own kind. <laughs> this I do remember and it was really embarrassing. 
You can do whatever you want and no one will give a damn. Why? Because it's camp. Now this one is a bit of a two-parter. I've broken it apart just because there's such a distinction from the first half of this to the last line of this post. This one is called, hello there friend. I'm so friendly. So I just got back from camp a couple days ago, but that was fast. You just went to camp. What the heck happened? And I had buckets of fun. Camp helps me clear up my problems. <laughs> you should try it sometime. Man, let me tell you, nothing quite clears up your problems like getting sent to middle of nowhere Pennsylvania for two months and sitting by the lake and just reveling in your angst with your peers really helps. Try it sometime. <laughs> Tonight's going to be fun as hell. Why? Because I'm going to see the one and only Blink-182 in concert. I think this was my second time seeing them, if I'm not mistaken, because I saw them once before with My Chemical Romance. Fall Out Boy and Panic at the Disco are the opening acts. I love life. I saw my town's production of The Pajama Game last night. It was pretty good, but there was a lot of random dancing and awkward people in it. Sounds like literally every single theatrical production ever. Sounds like my kind of musical. And to end this post, which to this day, my friends will quote this line because it's just so stupid and out of nowhere. I ended this post with, and on that note, potato. Because... Because of course! What else would you end this with? To this day, I still get quoted with that. Like, at this point, I should just make it my trademark catchphrase. So this next one is called, I'm on fire. Ah! Just kidding. It begins with, I'm too sexy for my shirt, too sexy for my shirt, 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 oh, I'm just too sexy. Sorry about that, I'm going delusional. No Sherlock! <laughs> then again, I had to open this journal entry somehow. I mean, she does have a point, albeit not the best one. So today I went to the pool club in my dad's girlfriend's neighborhood. That girlfriend is now my stepmom. It's a pretty nice pool, and their manager was pretty cute. Probably also 20 years older than me at the time, knowing me. <laughs> Doesn't matter anyway. Not exactly uplifting when a hot guy calls you over just to tell you to bring him some cake. Sigh. Sigh. Love is fleeting, Sage. It's okay, there are plenty of fish in the sea, girl. You'll get your bearings back. Speaking of my dad's girlfriend, we started moving her into our house today. I think she has more clothes than me and and my dad combined, and that's saying something. If I sewed all of my t-shirts together, it would take up the capacity of the red carpet. But this lady, her wardrobe is a shopping mall. That's true, she does have a lot of clothes to this day. I should go shopping sometime. Treat yourself, girl. You do your thing. All right, so the next one is called, hello, my name is Alfredo Suarez, and there is context here. I'm getting to that, I promise you. It's not just a random person I know. Rain, rain, go away come again when there's a drought. <laughs> I'm in a pretty peppy mood today. So today was the last school day of the week. Huzzah! After today, I broke in my new cowboy boots. I own my friend's crotch and I have an alter ego named Alfredo Suarez. What did any of that mean? All I knew was the cowboy boots. I remember the cowboy boots, everything else is up in the air. Alfredo Suarez is the 74 year old head cashier at Target who gets paid $12 a year. He is filing for a divorce from his wife Hildegard because she hit him over the head with a stool while she was PMSing. They've been married 50 years. He has one son who was put up for adoption, Alfredo Suarez Jr., and his wife is a psychologist, which Alfredo Sr. doesn't approve of. He enjoys polka music and the Jonas Brothers, and wears a tweed coat, a red bandana, and a wizard's cap. This is what I do in my spare time. Deal. Why was I allowed online? Dad, why didn't you do anything to prohibit me from going online to these sites and posting these things? Because this is just despicable. This is just really, ew, ew. All right, so this next one is titled, <coughs> I'm not even joking, that's what it's titled. That's the actual title of the post. Hola, today is Friday, and this weekend is also the start of Rosh Hashanah. I'm not Jewish, but my dad's girlfriend wanted to take me to her relative's house for a nice gathering. No thanks. <laughs> so grateful, jeez. So instead, I went to a couple of my friends' houses. I started off at Bailey's. We drove the whole way there listening to Screamo, and for a while, I watched them play COD 4 until we went to Taco Bell. Mighty productive. To be fair, this was like every single Friday of my high school for two years straight until those friends graduated and went to college and I stayed in high school. Like, literally, this is what I would do every single day for two years straight. Then I went to Emily's where I met up with some other friends. We spent the whole time in her basement dogpiling on each other, you know, as typical high schoolers do. Then we talked in the dark until about 10.30 about drugs and other assorted things. A pretty fun day, I must say. I rhymed, XD. XD. Yep, I was one of those kids who did XD and the Rafflecopter and the, yep, all, all of that good stuff. I'm content, I hope you are too. I'm very content, this is hilarious and I'm, 
cringing and smiling at the same time. I'm taking that as a good thing. I hope you are too. This one is titled, I've been slacking off, haven't I? Please continue to do so because this is just... Hi, sorry I'm not very creative today. I'm kind of out of it. Journal entries are starting to bore me, but I'm doing it to keep you young folks happy. Sage, you were 14. Stop. I just got back from one act rehearsal and it's really coming together. We actually goofed off for the first time in a while and it turned out better than ever. Humor is key to a good production. I mean, she speaks the truth. Can't be mad at her for that. Before that, I went to my friend's house and we made cinnamon rolls. Yum, oh, now I really want a cinnamon roll. God it, Sage. However, it took twice as long to get there because she wanted to get a ride to her house even though it was within eyesight. Fail, indeed. This is how you know this is old because I'm still using fail as a joke. <laughs> Necessary random word of the day. Ponyta. It's a Pokemon. Only cool 90s kids like myself get it. Noob. <laughs> you didn't need that, whatever that was. Thanks, thanks for that, all-knowing Sage. All right, creeping towards the end here. This one's titled, What Muffin, what muffin Would You Like, like for, for Breakfast, breakfast Dwani? That is, of course, a reference to the classic YouTube video, Muffins. Good evening. Good evening. My face is bleeding. Just thought I'd let you know. I mean, it happens to the best of us, but at least you're open about it. Nothing serious, just another picked off scab. I'm going to stop talking about this now. I think you should. This vacation was a good one. Friday, I went to the twins' house and we watched Superbad. Then we proceeded to watch a parody of Superbad with cartoon bunnies. Oh yeah, so cool, so cool, the coolest. Then we played some Halo 3, which I officially suck beyond belief at. Not surprising, I'm really not a good gamer whatsoever. I don't play any video games. Yesterday, I got a haircut. I still have an emo over, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> no! No! Cancelled! No, you're cancelled! Stop! Alright, 14 year old Sage is officially cancelled. Like, she's done. We're done after this. I'm not going back to DeviantArt after this. Afterwards, I went bowling and slept over at my friend Emily's house. I won the first game. I felt accomplished. You shouldn't, because this is a travesty of a, of a post. This is just the worst one. The next one is called, Damn, Use a Sexy Fish. Hi! Maybe that was too excitable of an intro. You think? So tomorrow is the last day of school until break, and damn, do I need one. Tomorrow, me and my friends are having a holiday party to exchange gifts and stuff our faces with various edibles. Then it's Christmas! My camp friends are also coming this weekend. Mondo excited about that. Who says that? Who says Mondo unironically? Hopefully it won't be like last time where we got so bored we played marbles, chased pigeons, piggybacked in supermarkets, and paraded around town with a boxing glove on a branch. Yes, I am quite remarkable. You are indeed, Sage. No one else would think of that. No one else with brain cells. Not sure what I'll do the following week. Perhaps chill with more camp friends or go skiing. Speaking of snow, it snowed this weekend. I made a snowman in celebration. Make Frosty proud. Make a snowman. I would, Sage, but it's currently September and there's no snow on the ground because you don't live in Canada, so you're gonna have to wait three months. Sorry, Aww. bud. Getting to the last two here. This one's titled, And They All Drowned in Whipped Cream. The end. This is, of course, another inside joke, which I thought everyone would understand for some reason. Me. That's another inside joke. That's a word that I made up that I used constantly. It was basically like my RAR. This past weekend, my camp friends came to visit me from the mystical worlds of New Jersey and Virginia. Abby came first, and we ended up going to Dunkin' Donuts like last time, minus the freezing pouring rain, and I got a coolada and a radioactive pink donut. We were convinced it was inhabited by microscopic aliens, because apparently all of my friends were equally as weird as me, so that works. After returning home from the frozen tundra, we watched the Powerpuff Girls and did other random things before picking up Eliza from the train station. Abby was having a seizure in my arms. The people at the station were not amused. I'm sure they weren't. I wouldn't be in the current day either. The next day, we went to the mall. Eliza had never been to a real mall. You can imagine how that went over. I got a plaid blue dress from American Eagle, purple leggings from Delia's, and several accessories from Hot Topic. I like malls. <laughs> I'd like to think during this time I also wore all of those things at the same time. Like that was my ensemble on the daily. I had some interesting wardrobe choices. Let me tell you that. Oh yeah, we also made a story about a magical singing sea beaver, hence my odd journal entry title. Feel free to ask me about it at any given time. It's it's quite a tale. No, it's not. You're definitely not gonna win a Pulitzer Prize for that one, sweetie. I'm sorry. Oh boy. And finally, we reached the last entry, which is titled, of course, Little Bitches, which is a parody of Little Women. Hello! 
Sorry if it's been a while. I've been busy, and to be honest, I'm not really interested in writing these as much anymore. XD. Tonight is the first night for little women, aka bitches, and pretty intrigued to see how it all goes. The lady who runs it nearly craps herself every time we run it, since there are so many issues with it. I mean, to be fair, that's every high school drama instructor ever. I feel like they're all losing their at any given time, just because we're not professional actors, we're high schoolers, so... Whatever, it'll be fine in the long run. Besides, we deserve credit. We've been there every night until 10.30 since Monday. Last week was midterms. I turned into a geometry gorilla and studied my ass off. And for what? A C. Well, at least I got a perfect 10 on the long proof. <laughs> Jokingly sobs. Yo, proofs are pointless. Like this video if you think proofs are completely pointless, because I remember that was the first thing we learned in geometry, and I tried. I was a good student. I actually studied. I did all my work. I got a D in geometry. A D! And I did all the quizzes, and I did all the homework, and I did all the projects, and I got a D. Explain to me the justice in that. Thanks, Trump. Uh, happy Black History Month. And did anyone else see Forever the Sickest Kids on Silent Library last week? If you didn't, go watch it on YouTube or Forever Be a Dweeb. <laughs> forever the dweebiest kids. Anywho, that's that. Uh, I hope you enjoyed me embarrassing myself for the last however many minutes we've been doing this. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a like below. Did you cringe as much as I did during this experience? If you did, feel free to drop me a comment in the comment section below. Also, if you're new to my channel, hello, how's it going? Make sure to hit the garbage out of that subscribe button. Also hitting the bell icon next to it to get the first notice of when my videos go up. I try to upload once a week. To all of my subscribers who have been here before, thank you so much for watching week after week. It really means so much to me. Well, I'm about to go delete my entire DeviantArt account, so I will see you guys next time. Bye!